This is Adul Ali, and you are checking out Ground Game with Cabarrus County Republican Party. Today, we are going to be talking about some very important subjects. I know everybody's excited about the presidential election, and we know Cabarrus County is Trump country. We're all excited about Dan Forrest, and I know this is run Forrest, run country, win Forrest, win country. But we have some really important local elections that we need to talk about, and mainly, our county commissioner election. So today we are going to be joined by Barbara Strang, who is running for county commissioner right here, has a major event that we're going to be talking about. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and jump into our municipal calendar so you know how to hold your local officials responsible. Here's your local government calendar. Your Midland Town Council will meet on September 8th at 6 p.m. Your Kannapolis City Council next meeting will be August 24th at 6.30 p.m. Harrisburg Town Council will meet on September 14th at 6 p.m. And Concord, who meets the second Thursday of each month, will meet on September 10th at 6 p.m. Your next Tabaris County Board of Commissioners meeting is set for September the 21st at 6 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your local government calendar. Welcome back to Ground Game with Cabarrus County GOP. I am Adul Ali. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all excited around here. One of the biggest ways you can support your county party, you see I'm rocking the cab GOPT, but we got them down here at the office. You can come every Tuesday and every Thursday between 3 and 6 p.m. Get you some Trump signs, get you some Trump hats, get you some support uh, stuff to support our judges and our other local candidates. And one of the important things when we talk about the office being open is every single Wednesday, you will have an opportunity to come down here to your Republican Party headquarters. We're at 96 McGill Avenue in Concord. Every Wednesday, you can come down here and kick it with Miss Barbara, who is actually running for uh, county commission here in Cabarrus County. So uh, you've got a major event coming up, which is really, really cool. And I don't want to ruin it. So you tell the folks, Miss Barbara, about what you've got going on. Adul, thanks for having me. I have a big event going on at Eagle Gun, September 3rd, from 6 to 8 p.m. Um, the big announcement is Mark Robinson is our guest speaker. Um, myself, Larry Pittman, who's running for House District 83, and Kristen Baker, House District 82, will also be guest speakers during that event. We will have lots of Mark Robinson uh, paraphernalia, whether it be hats, t-shirts, whatever, he's bringing it all, um, as well as myself, Larry, and Christian. We will have all of our signs and anything you want from us. We will be there for that two hours. So come out and see us. It'll be a lot of fun. Eagle Guns. One of the best places to be in Cabarrus County is Eagle Guns. Um, speaking of guns, don't you have a gun raffle going on as well? I do. I have a gun raffle going on to support my campaign. I am um, raffling off a nine, or actually a 19 Gen 4 9 millimeter. Uh, it's a red, white, and blue gun. Hmm. It's a red, white, and blue gun. The uh, raffle for that is going to be September 19th at noon at Eagle Gun. You do not have to be present. If anybody would like a ticket, I will be at Eagle Gun this weekend from 11 to 2 selling tickets. And you can just come and meet me, or you can actually get them on my website. Um, and you can find that link on my Facebook page. So come on out, check out the gun, see me at, at Eagle, and you know, meet me somewhere in town if you need anything. All right. Well, all of that stuff is going to be on the screen. Well, I'm sure we'll get that all worked out on the screen. And while I've got you here, Barbara, I think uh, it's really important that folks understand how important what's happening in our county and in our country. I think all politics is local, and I'm sure you agree on that. But how important do you think it is for folks to participate in your uh, race, the, the county commissioner's race? Uh, could you talk a little bit about how important you think that is for the folks and the viewers who are going to see this, regardless of party, to participate? I think at any level, especially your local level, is where it really, really starts. You know, everybody focuses on, you know, the president, the governor. They don't think much about our, you know, local municipalities and, go and uh, county municipalities. And we really need to focus there because that is our tax dollars. That's our, you know, funding for schools. That is... You know, every resource that we have in Cabarrus County, a lot of that comes through the county commission. A lot of it comes through our municipalities. And you really need to know who's involved so that we know who's making the best decision for the citizens of Cabarrus County. And that's, you know, a big thing. And so I encourage you not to overlook your local elections at all. You know, they're bottom of the ticket. Make sure you flip your ballot over this year and make sure you, you know, mark every spot. And if you don't know all your local candidates or have questions, Stop by the office. 
every candidate out here has palm cards, bumper stickers, whatever you need to know. And all of the candidates are very, you know, you can easily get a hold of them through social media platforms. I think, you know, some of them have their phone numbers out there published. But just reach out to them if you have a specific question. I think that's spot on, especially now when we're talking about COVID response and everything that our elected officials are having to deal with. And again, regardless of which party, there's a lot going on. And I think we need to make sure we're electing the right folks. So I want to thank Barbara for stopping by to kick, in a, uh, to kick it with us here on Ground Game. I'm Dan Forrest. I'm Mark Robinson. Our state faces a choice. Either we defend capitalism or give in to socialism. Either we have the courage to uphold law and order, or we cave to the demands of the mob. Either we stand up to the extremism of the radical left, or we become strangers in our own state. If good people don't stand up and do something now, our state will never be the same. I'm Dan Forrest, running for governor. I'm Mark Robinson, running for lieutenant governor. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ground Game with Cabarrus County GOP. I am Adul Ali. Right now, I am actually joined by the homie Garrison Clap with the TARS, with Cabco TARS. What's happening, young man? What's up? Everything's good? Yep. Okay. Uh, excited for the election. Excited for the yeah. election. So this is actually our first time meeting. Are you in college? Are you in school? I'm actually going to UNCC. Okay. What, what are you studying? Uh, political science. This is appropriate. Yeah, about everybody involved in politics probably majors in political science. There you go. Well, let me ask a question from a younger person's perspective, because I'm young too. I'm young enough to be young, but you're way younger than me. So let, let's ask, from, from your age group, your younger perspective, uh, what's got you so excited about this election? What's the real excitement for you? Uh, excitement? Uh, probably a controversial topics is probably the biggest thing talking about them uh, regarding pro all the protests right like yeah protests lately lately <laughs> <laughs> okay so protests let me ask you a question so do you think that the young your your younger counterparts that are out there pro protesting the younger liberals that are out there um, do you see what they're marching for and what they're protesting as just justified or do you think it's you know, what do you, why do you think they're out there doing that? Yeah, I have a lot of friends uh, that have gone to the protests lately, and I know a lot of them are supporting the movement. And I, I kind of, I, I support them. And of course, they are obviously against all the violent protests, the rioting, uh, you know, just being up, you know, some people burning down business. They're all against that, and I completely support them and the movement. Is it is it difficult in the in the college setting? Is is what I'm as polarized as the adults are? Is that equally as polarized in the college environment? Do you think? There's definitely a more support for liberal viewpoints, but uh, more educated and more open minds are starting to appear that can hear both conservative and liberal viewpoints. All right, gotcha. Now, I'm just curious. It, you, so I'm assuming you grew up in a Republican household, in a conservative household? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, I didn't. Yeah. I grew up in the complete opposite realm. Like, everything was liberal. I grew up in foster care. Like, the, the worst liberal policies you could think of affected yeah. me. And and so let, I'm, I'm curious about something. Does anybody in your family ever served in the military or law enforcement or anything like that? Actually, my dad did. He was an officer in the Navy. Okay, I got you. So you got, you got that whole Navy upbringing. Yeah. Okay, I'm with you. It makes sense. So political science, uh, part of the local Cabarrus County TARS group. Um, tell me what you think about, uh, as a teenage Republican, uh, what's the most exciting thing for you about supporting Donald Trump this runaround? Just seeing what he's going to do the next four years and hopefully just seeing the House swing back to the Republicans to give him more support. Mm. That That is spoken like a true political science student. I, I can appreciate your response yeah. to that measured and everything. Yeah, yeah. Everybody is definitely focused on who's going to win, Joe Biden or Donald Trump. But I think everybody should be more focused on House elections, Congressman Hudson and uh, the young guy, Madison Cawthorn. Yeah, that was an amazing, yeah. an amazing race. And I thought that was interesting because the uh, person he was running against actually yeah. got Trump's endorsement. Yeah. So it's like, I think he uh, I think the record was he's Trump has endorsed 83 
uh, candidates, 82 of which won their primaries, and the one was Medicine Cawthorn. Wow. Yeah. So fairy tales can come true. It can happen to you. 24-year-old, <laughs> paralyzed, a business owner. It's really impressive. That, so look, you hear it from the young Republicans. You hear it from our teenage Republicans. They're engaged. They're involved. They know what's going on. I know you guys said you're going to be meeting here at uh, Republican Party headquarters tomorrow, but you guys stay tuned. Look up Cabarrus County TARS Group. Their information's on the screen. Make sure you're following and supporting the next generation of young Republicans here because these guys are what it's about. It's about making sure these young folks can carry on and pass that torch of liberty to the generations after them. Thank you for joining us for our very first episode here. I think it was a wonderful way to start out by talking with our county commissioner candidate. Remember, check out Barbara Strang's event uh, with Larry Pittman, Kristen Baker, and of course, uh, Mark Robinson running for Lieutenant Governor over at Eagle Guns. Next week, you're gonna wanna join us right back here for Ground Game. We're gonna be talking to our Board of Elections representative, Jay White. We're gonna talk about absentee ballots, ballots versus voting by mail. And we're also gonna be joined by Sarah Newby, and we're gonna talk a little bit about how important these judges' elections are, not just for us here in Cabarrus County, but statewide. So join us next week right here at your Cabarrus County Republican Party headquarters for Ground Game with Cabarrus County GOP. I am Abdul Ali. Until next time.